The U.S. National Science Foundation's Daniel K. Anouye Solar Telescope just released its first image of a sunspot taken on January 28, 2020. The photograph's impressive details highlight the optical powers of the Hawaiian Observatory. According to a statement by the National Solar Observatory, even though the telescope is still in phases of completion, the image is an indication of how the telescope's advanced optics and four-meter primary mirror give scientists the best view of the sun from Earth throughout the next solar cycle. The statement adds that the sunspot image accompanies a new paper by Dr. Thomas Rommel and his team. The paper, for which you can find a link in the description below, is the first in a series of articles in the journal Solar Physics. It details the optics, mechanical systems, instruments, operational plans, and scientific objectives of the Inouye Solar Telescope. Solar Physics will publish the remaining papers in early 2021. Speaking about the image, Dr. Thomas Rommel said that the sunspot image achieves a spatial resolution about two and a half times higher than the previous record, showing magnetic structures as small as 20 kilometers on the surface of the sun. Sunspots are darker, cooler areas on the surface of the sun in a region called the photosphere. They are created by magnetic field flux, where the convergence of magnetic fields stunts convection and cools the sun's surface. Sunspots are basically magnetic storms on the surface of a star. They result in a cooler area that looks darker only in comparison with the brighter and hotter regions of the photosphere around them. The photosphere has a temperature of 5,800 Kelvin. Meanwhile, sunspots have temperatures of about 3,800 Kelvin. The image showcases intricate details of the sunspot structure as seen at the sun's surface. Measuring at about 10,000 miles, 16,093 kilometers across, it is just a tiny part of the sun, but is large enough for the entire Earth to comfortably fit inside. The resolution is so phenomenal that you can see regions as small as 12 miles, 20 kilometers on a side. That's the distance you could cover on a bike in an hour or two, assuming you don't vaporize. The streaky appearance of hot and cool gas spiraling out from the dark center is the result of sculpting by a convergence of intense magnetic fields and hot gases boiling up from below. However, this image isn't a snapshot. Scientists used speckle reconstruction. Earth's atmosphere is always roiling overhead, and small parcels of air act like lenses, bending incoming light around. When you take a long exposure, that movement smears out images, reducing the resolution. There are various ways to compensate for that, like adaptive optics, and the Daniel K. Inouye Solar Telescope, DKIST, does use that. But they also take lots of extremely short exposures to freeze out the air movement. Some parts of each image are blurry, so scientists take enough images that eventually you get a clean shot of every piece of the image. Then you can reconstruct the entire image from the clean exposures. This is all done automatically many times per second, and the result is the DKIST resulting resolution is about as good as you can theoretically get from a telescope of this size. Sunspots are the most visible representation of solar activity. We know that the more sunspots that are visible on the sun, the more active the sun is. Solar activity rises and falls over the course of an 11-year solar cycle. Scientists expect the sun to reach its solar maximum in the middle of 2025. Coronal mass ejections and solar flares are extremely large explosions on the photosphere. 
In just a few minutes, the flares heat to several million degrees Fahrenheit and release as much energy as a billion megatons of TNT. They occur near sunspots, usually at the dividing line between areas of oppositely directed magnetic fields. Solar flares emit X-rays and magnetic fields which bombard the Earth as geomagnetic storms. If sunspots are active, more solar flares will result, creating an increase in geomagnetic storm activity for Earth. Sunspots and associated solar flares and coronal mass ejections may affect our power plants here on Earth, cause pretty auroral displays, or knock out satellites in orbit around the Earth. These events also affect technological life on Earth. The magnetic fields associated with solar storms can impact power grids, communications, GPS navigation, air travel, satellites, and humans living in space. The Inouye Solar Telescope will add important capabilities to the complement of tools that study solar activity, particularly magnetic fields. Scientists expect DKIS to provide new insights into the mechanics of supports and their related phenomena, insights that will help researchers more accurately predict the trajectory of solar storms, which can disrupt communication systems and power grids, as well as put astronauts at risk. While the start of telescope operations has been slightly delayed due to the impacts of the COVID-19 global pandemic, this image represents an early preview of the unprecedented capabilities that the facility will bring to bear on our understanding of the sun, said David Bobolts, program director for the Inouye Solar Telescope at the National Science Foundation. DKIST is funded by NSF and managed by the National Solar Observatory through a cooperative agreement with the Association of Universities for research in astronomy. This is the 1919 eclipse that confirmed Einstein's general relativity theory, which predicted that the sun's gravity would bend the light coming from distant stars. 